Let's use the search menu to cut a key for a 2010 Ford Escape. Select Vehicle Keys, select Vehicle Make, and the keyboard appears on the tablet. Start typing the vehicle's make, i.e. Ford, and you will notice a drop-down menu that will finish the selection. In this case, we are selecting Ford USA. Select the search button. Since the only search parameter used was the vehicle make, there are nine pages of possible code series to choose from. As you highlight each code series, notice the display on the right shows the lock manufacturer and applications that use the code series and possible ILCO key blanks. There are three folders on the top right of the screen. Information shows information about the lock make, applications, and ILCO key blank. Applications show the key blank application, locks, cylinders, vehicle model, etc. Card shows information on accessories that may be required to cut keys on the Futura machine. Select the back arrow on the left to return to the search screen and narrow the search. This time add the model name Escape and then select Search. For this specific search, there are three selections available. The key we are looking for is an edge cut key, so select code series 1X-1706X. With the code series highlighted, select the green card icon and wait for the card to open. The left side of the screen shows all the technical details relating to the selected cutting card. For example, card number, SN, profile, series, depth measurements, spacing measurements, cutting angle, and key blank dimension. The right side of the screen contains the following functions. Code. If you know the indirect code of the key and you did not enter it in the search screen, select Code. A code search box will open. Select Code and enter the indirect code with the keyboard. The X is automatically populated once the code number is input. At this point, Select the green box with the magnifying glass. The software searches the database and displays the cuts that correspond to the code. Select OK. The next screen displays the cut depths and shows what the finished key will look like. Select the green cut box on the lower right and it sends the information to the machine. If you do not know the indirect code but you know the depths for each cut or the direct code, you can manually enter the information by selecting Cuts on the card menu. As you enter the depths, the cursor moves to the next box. Once completed, select Confirm. If the depths you input match to an indirect code in the code series, the machine will display that information as well as displaying a picture of the cut key. Decoding. If you have a working key and you do not know either the direct or indirect code, you can decode the key by selecting Decoding from the card menu. Manual Corrections. This option allows the user to adjust both the spacing, y-axis, and the depths, x-axis, of a key to be cut. To enter manual adjustments, you must check the Use Corrections box to activate. Then select Save and Close. Partial Cuts. This option is used to make a search for codes within the code table if applicable, when only part of the direct codes are known. For example, if you are presented with a broken key. You enter the depths known and hit search. The screen will display possible indirect codes within the code series. Card options is used for editing parameters such as cut type. Alternative cutting methods can be chosen from flat, track, or normal. Key blank dimension, used with the detect key blank measurement function. For double sided keys that have symmetric cuts, the detect key blank measurement function will appear as an option. This function is used to read the stem width of the key blank in order to adapt cutting to the key blank in use. When enabled, it's automatically applied to double sided keys. Depth removal step. This value indicates the amount of material removed by the cutter on each pass. Info card. 
displays information about the clamp, side and stop to be used, cutter and key blank. Queue of job. Used to place selected jobs in a queue to be cut at a later time. Note. Displays data card notes, if any, providing further information relating to the position of the key or any needed accessory, etc. Next, select Cut to begin the cutting process. The screen displays a picture of how the key is to be loaded into the 01V clamp. In this example, the key is loaded on clamp side A. Since this blank does not have a shoulder, it will be gauged using the tip of the key blade. The stop position shown is 4, located at the back of the clamp. Using the tip stop bar provided, slide the key into the jaw until the tip of the key rests against the tip stop. Make sure the edge of the key is against the inner side of the clamp wall and tighten it in place. Lower the safety shield and select Start. The machine will cut the first side of this two-sided key. You will be prompted to turn the key over for side 2. Since side 1 is cut, you will no longer have a flat edge to assist in aligning the key in the jaw. Load the key into the jaw using tip position 4 and make sure that the key is against the inner side of the clamp wall. Using the edge of the jaw as a guide, load the key so the uncut edge is parallel to the face of the jaw and tighten the clamp. Remember, in setting up the software, we selected Check Installed Key as a preference for edge cut keys. Notice that the optical reader will check the key in two positions to ensure that the key is loaded properly. Should it detect a slight offset, the machine will adjust the depths of cut to compensate for this. Lower the shield and select Start. However, if the key is loaded and the Futura detects too much offset, a red light will come on and an error message will appear on the tablet. So reposition the key and repeat the process. Tip. Futura's database will indicate clamp side A on most two-sided automotive keys. When you are decoding a key, you must use the jaw position designated by the software. However, there are exceptions. When cutting a two-sided key by code, or once you have decoded a key and have selected Detect Key Blank Measurement in Card Options, then you can load the key in any of the four jaw positions on the 01V clamp. The machine will detect the edge of the blank, and the cut depths will be measured from this edge. Regardless of jaw position, always use the tip stop position designated by the software.